Thank you for tuning in my Swoops Entertainment channel. This is going to be my top 10 video on black serial killers. Now, in the future, I'm going to do a top 10 video on serial killers overall, whether it be women, men, white, black. But in this particular video, it's going to be on black serial killers specifically. Now, the one person I'm not going to have on my list is Wayne Williams. Wayne Williams was convicted of killing 27 black boys in the early 1980s. I don't believe he's guilty. After looking at all the evidence, I believe he's innocent. I don't believe he committed these murders after looking at all the evidence. There's not a shred of evidence connecting him to these 27 murders. If you look at all the facts in the case. But I'm going to have other black serial killers on my top 10 list that have been confirmed killers where you have all the evidence proving their guilt. And I want everybody to watch the video and give me your opinion on this topic. Leave a comment, rate, and subscribe. A hearing is underway for accused serial killer Alfred Gaynor, charged with the murders of four women. Welcome. Among the onlookers is this man. Mr. Gaynor does. Gaynor raped, then strangled his mother. Without warning, the victim's son launches an assault. It's pandemonium in the court. The defendant's sister tries to hold the man back, but not before he delivers one last punishing blow. found out more than she ever wanted to know about the home she's renting. 
It sounds like a horror movie, but instead it's a real life nightmare for this woman. She signed the lease without any fears, but it wasn't until a family member told her to check out a cold case documentary on the A&E network about serial killers. That's when she found out she was living in the same house serial killer Maury Travis used as a torture chamber. The landlord even gave her the same dining room table found in crime scene photos. When she showed us the house, she was like, you guys can have this table if you want. Yeah, same chairs, same table, everything. This whole basement was basically his torture chamber, and it's not okay. Now, when the woman called her landlord begging to get out of the lease, the landlord wasn't sympathetic. Get this, you may want to know the landlord is the killer's mother. The landlord says only material defects need to be noted to renters, but the woman says she will be moving at the end of the month. And to someone the FBI is calling the most prolific serial killer in American history. These are just a few of the sketches he drew of his victims. And we first told you about Samuel Little back in February. He has confessed to 93 killings, including one right here in Houston. But that Houston case and 49 others have not been confirmed. As Ron Trevino reports, the FBI is now hoping you can help with that. The Houston Police Department is investigating this convicted killer and HPD has interviewed him, but now you get to hear what this inmate is telling a Texas Ranger. You know, she fighting for her life and I'm fighting for my pleasure. It's disturbing to listen to, but investigators want to hear it all and more. 79-year-old Samuel Little has confessed to 93 murders. That's more than were committed by Ted Bundy and Jeffrey Dahmer combined. The skinny black girl real friendly she 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 was laughing while i was killing her a texas ranger named james holland has interviewed little extensively 
coaxing him to reveal an unbelievable story, one that investigators do believe is true. Even a cold case investigator from Houston has interviewed Little. The convicted killer told HPD Sergeant Richard Rodriguez a Houston victim made him angry. So I reached over, I choked her, and once uh, she was dead, I pulled her out of the car, looked around, jumped back in the car, and left. Little says he has a photographic memory and has drawn sketches of his victims, including this one. The FBI says this woman was killed in Houston between 1976 and 79 or in 1993. Hopefully he'll provide some information as to the whereabouts of the body. Then investigators can take that information and begin their investigation. Hopefully, hopefully discovering and finding some evidence. And now the FBI is asking for help connecting these sketches to unsolved murders. Samuel Little's confessions have enabled investigators around the country to solve dozens of cold cases. That's why HPD is so interested to hear what he has to say about his time here in Houston. Ron Trevino, KHOU 11 News. New at 6.